Yo, what up fam? It's Phantom, and in today's video, we're gonna go over how to install a mod that allow us to see monster health bars in Monster Hunter Wild. I know it's a little controversial because some people say you should never know what the health bar is, but I like it, especially when trying to capture monsters. So we're gonna go over how to do that now. How we're gonna be doing this is we're going to be installing the MH Wilds Overlay mod. I'll have all the mods you need linked in the description so you can easily download them. But this is the main mod that actually lets us use a lot of different things in game, which we'll go over later in the video because there's more than just health bars. But this Nexus mod website, you will have to have an account. So you'll have to make an account and log in. And then you can hit the manual download button on the first link I have. And it'll show the additional files required are Catlib, RE Framework, and RE Framework D2D. We're going to open these in new tabs. So we're just going to right click. Open them in new tab. So we'll have Catlib, RE Framework, RE Framework Direct2D, and the MH Wilds Overlay. So we're first gonna hit the download on the MH Wilds Overlay and click Slow Download. It'll automatically go to your Downloads folder. Same thing with the Catlib. We're gonna download that here. Hit Slow Download. Same with the RE Framework and then the RE Framework 2D. Once you have all these downloaded, I'm just actually going to cut these and put them in a folder on my desktop. So now that we have these files, we're going to take the RE Framework 93 Nightly and the RE Framework D2D. We're going to right click and we're going to extract them in this folder. You will then have the RE Framework in the dinput 8.dll files. We can then go ahead and delete those two other files. We're not going to need those anymore. Next, we're going to right click the Catlib and extract it here as well. You'll see a Catlib folder. We're going to go into that folder. Then we're going to go into the Re Framework folder and you'll see an auto run folder. We're going to cut that folder. We're going to go back into our main folder and go into Re Framework. And then we're just going to paste that auto run folder. It'll automatically put it in the auto run folder and it'll look like this when you're done. Now we can go back and just delete these Catlib folders. Lastly, for the overlay, the one that you're wanting, we're going to right click and extract it here as well. You're going to see the MH Wilds overlay folder. We're going to go into that. We're going to go into the reframework and we're going to again cut these auto run and images folders. We're going to go back into the main folder into the reframe work and then we're going to paste it in here so you will see three folders auto run images and plugins lastly we can go back to the main folder we can delete the mh wilds overlay folder and the mh wild overlay folder zipped so all that you're left with is with the reframe work and the dinput 8 and then in the reframe work you're gonna have auto run with catlib and mh wilds images and plugins now we can go to our Steam and we're going to right click Monster Hunter Wilds, hover manage and choose browse local files. This will then open up our folder for Monster Hunter Wilds. I've already done this. You normally won't see some of these, but I've already moved these over. But all you'll do is you'll just copy these and then drag them into the Monster Hunter Wilds folder. You're just going to put it directly into the main directory of Monster Hunter Wilds. Don't put them in any of these subfolders. Once you've done all that, you can go ahead and start Monster Hunter Wilds. When you open up Monster Hunter Wilds after installing this mods, you should see this RE Framework menu. If you don't, try restarting the game or by default, the input key is insert so you can open and close that menu. If you still don't see it, try go back through this video and make sure you followed all the installation steps. The big thing that we're focused on here is this MH Wilds overlay here. Here you want to make sure it's enabled and then there's different things that you can change depending on what you want to show in the game. There's player status, boss widget options, DPS chart options, stats table options, and show all HP. The most important for me that I have found is to make sure that the show all HP is enabled if you want to have HP bars. But I've disabled like the enable animal and enable Zako. I don't care about that kind of stuff, so I disable them. I really just want to see the boss. But you can kind of play around with this. There's the DPS charts, so you can see how much damage you're doing. If you want to just disable all that, you absolutely can. There's a stats table. It'll kind of tell you all kinds of things about your quest and about how much damage you're doing and all that. Because there's all kinds of stats here that you can really mess with. But all I really care about is the boss health bar, which if you've done all these steps, you should be able to see. And we'll show you in game. Let's just go ahead and start a game and get into a hunt. And there you can see already there's the Hirabami over there. You can see its health bar. You can change that so you don't have to see every monster. But I can start that quest if I'd like. We're just going to go ahead and get this quest going. 
and you'll see in the top right hand corner the Hirabami health bar if you don't see the health bar like I remember when I first started this I would only see the health numbers and not the bars that I want to see if you have that problem just try restarting the game that seemed to have fixed it for me but that's how you do it I hope this video helped you thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video